down this morning to weigh in on the president's State of the Union speech. Senator Maisie Hirono is joining us live via Skype this morning from Washington, D.C. Good morning, Senator. Good morning. Well, so let's talk about your thoughts on the president's speech, really focusing on that, uh, what he says is inequality and the gap between um, what people are making. What, what caught your attention? The fact that he focused so much on creating opportunities for our family. So that means focusing on raising the minimum wage, and he's starting by executive order and raising the minimum wage for contract people on basis who are serving food and cleaning up. I think the focus on uh, creating opportunities for our people is a really good focus. And I want to mention, by the way, we're celebrating Chinese New Year, so Kung Yifa Choi. <laughs> I visited Waipahu High School uh, last week, and uh, the, these kids, a lot of them are first generation kids looking to go to college. So when the president talks about let's make college more affo affordable, that speaks to their concerns. So that's the focus that I really liked about uh, the president's speech. Immigration reform, that not only helps our families, but it's going to create jobs and, and grow our economy. So you've got your, your finger on the pulse up there in Washington, D.C. A lot of people talking about that immigration reform was supposed to have been passed last year. didn't quite happen. A lot of Republicans afraid of the president's uh, stance on border uh, protection. What, what is your thoughts? What is your feeling as to how it's gone so far and when we might see an actual uh, decision made? I'm hopeful that the House will pass some kind of immigration bill because they're on a retreat today and one of their uh, agenda items is to come up with uh, their framework for immigration reform. So we've seen evidence of bipartisan uh, movement in passing the budget and passing the appropriation bill and most recently the farm bill which has a lot of good stuff for Hawaii. So I am hopeful that we can do immigration reform. Yeah, I'm I also hopeful that we can raise minimum wage, which, you know, we, people in Hawaii definitely know what it's like to work more than one job, everybody in the family working. If the, our wages had kept pace with inflation, uh, our minimum wage today from what it was in 1968 or thereabouts would be $10.75 today. So I hope we can get that done. There are a lot of people in our country who support raising the minimum wage. Yeah. Uh, quality early education. A lot and of another, discussion. A lot of discussion another, here locally yeah, too. Important, yeah, support. So, I think um, you know where the country is on the same page with the president on a lot of these uh, areas. But really, to focus on, let's create opportunities for our people. That's a framework that I support. Well, it is going to be interesting to see what happens with the president mm -hmm. taking that message on the road. Yes. Thank you so much, Senator, Thank for you. joining Aloha. us.